Hello, my name is Ryan from Buster Beagle 3D. Today I'll be reviewing the Xtool D1 Diode Laser Engraving and Cutting Machine. The machine was sent to me by Xtool so that I might be able to do a review on it. But as always, any opinions on this or any of my videos are mine. Xtool is part of the same company MakeBlock that brought you the popular CO2 LaserBox series machines. So do I like the D1? How does it compare to the other diode lasers that I have done reviews on previously? Well, let's find out. The Xtool D1 came very well packed and was very simple to assemble. There are no instructions in the box, but it did come with a sheet directing you to the website where you will see how to assemble everything. There are written instructions in the user manual online, but to be honest, it was much easier to follow the video on the website to put everything together. I watched the video once all the way through and was able to assemble the machine in about 10 minutes. Many of the machine parts come pre-assembled, so it was super easy to put together. The Xtool D1 has an engraving and cutting area of 432 by 406 millimeters, or roughly 17 by 16 inches. The frame of the machine is full metal and is built very solidly. There is no aluminum extrusion on this machine as every part seems to be custom to this machine. The machine comes with dual belts that drive the Y axis of the machine. Both the X and Y axis roll on steel wheel bearings that seem like they will last a very long time. The D1 comes in two options. You can purchase the machine with either a 5 or 10 watt laser module. Both lasers come with a laser spot of 0.08 millimeters and can be run at 160 millimeters per second or 9,600 millimeters per minute. The 10 watt laser combines two 5 watt laser beams into one which is how they achieve the higher cutting and engraving power and also allows for the engraving of more materials. The 10 watt laser is the version that was sent to me so it's what I've been testing with. I have actually been able to cut up to 10 millimeters of soft wood using the laser, even though the company advertises up to 6 millimeters in one pass on their website. The Xtool D1 can be controlled with either a wired or Wi-Fi connection. The machine can also be controlled by an app on your cell phone. To use the machine wirelessly, you are able to upload a file to a micro SD card on the machine and then simply press the button on the frame later to start your burn. This is a great way to load files onto the machine and then take it outside or somewhere else where you have better ventilation. The D1 as of the time of this video is not open source but requires the use of the LaserBox basic software or the app to run the lasers on the D1 are fixed focus and actually come with the drop down lever attached to the machine to make this super easy. You just flip the lever down, lower your module until it touches the part, and then tighten the thumb screw, and then flip the lever back up. That's it. You are now perfectly focused on the part to be engraved or cut. The laser also comes with a laser shield attached that helps to protect your eyes from the laser spot but still comes with glasses as you should always protect your eyes when using any diode laser. One of the last cool features to this machine is the laser crosshair that shows the location that the laser is going to start. You will notice that this is not right under the laser but slightly to the side of the lens. This still should be the place where the lens will move when it starts burning its job. There is also additional accessories you can purchase such as a rotary roller that will allow you to engrave things such as glasses, tumblers, or really anything cylindrical with a diameter of around 110 millimeters or 4.3 inches when you also purchase the screw-on risers that will lift the whole machine up. With the added risers, you can engrave over items about 140 millimeters thick or about 5.5 inches. The work I have done on the machine has worked out really nice. I was able to cut plywood, and of course engrave wood as well. I have engraved on this little fake leather sample that came with the kit with really nice results. I engraved this image on a white tile using the Norton white tile method and the video cannot really do justice to how nice this really came out. I have also engraved on cork and even directly on stainless steel. The machine really has not disappointed with the laser and image quality that you can achieve. 
If you want to know more about this machine and how it works compared to something like the Ortura Laser Master 2 Pro, I created another video that you can click the link at the top or in the description and see. It's a deeper dive into the hardware and software differences of the machines, so I kept it separate of this review. I also have another video where I go over the basics of the software of the D1 called Laserbox Basic. You can click the link at the top or in the description. Lastly, I thought it would be a good idea to use a grid and fix feet of the laser to the spoil board to help with the registration of parts to be cut. I have another video with how to do that and where to get the free files that you can download to make that happen. Overall, I have been very impressed with the build quality and the work output that the Xtool D1 has been able to achieve. If you have any questions that have not been answered in either this video or any of the other ones I just pointed out, please do leave a comment and I will try to answer whatever I can. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you next time.